Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm going to do a quick video on how I tie my dangler to my mask. I do it a different way, and people are asking for pictures. I figured a video would probably be better. The other thing, I'll do a quick review of this hack for helmet, because I don't have a video portion of it, but I do have a written one. Uh, the written piece is on Mod Squad Hockey. There's a link to it below in the description. Check it out for more details and pictures. But now, on to the dangler itself. As you can see, I use a different tying method, which puts the string, it should be skate lace, but I didn't have any at the time, through the actual dangler itself, under the helmet, comes up through here, out through the middle part of the cage, and holds it snug here. The reason I did this was, I did it the older style way, there's many different ways to do it, and I found the dangler was bouncing around too much, getting caught under my chin, and getting my head stuck. So I found this method I think on Goalie Sword Bulletin Board a few years ago. I've been tweaking it ever since just to get the right height. I found that you want this, the string itself, to be pretty tight. And well to a point where the top of the dangler can't go below the chin of the mask. The reason being if it can go lower it can get stuck underneath kind of like this. And you're kind of stuck fiddling it out figuring what to do with it. So even this one could be a little bit tighter, but I haven't really had any issues with it getting stuck under the chin since I've done this last. Another thing is the sides aren't, I'm not particularly too worried about. I just put them over here so it has decent movement. Um, it's mainly important for the front piece for me. This part, I found that if I put it over here, it just didn't seem to sway as much and move as much as I liked. Here it can move around a little bit still. So it still gives you the protection. You can do whatever you want there, experiment your own way. I do suggest skate lace over this string. Again, I didn't have any skate lace I was willing to cut up to put on here, so that's why it's like this. But I'd absolutely recommend trying this out. I've never had any issues with it. I get hit here a lot, broken this thing multiple times, get hit with it all the time, and it's I know it's protected my neck more than once, and it's always exactly where I want it. It never moves from here. It's always going to protect my throat there. So hopefully that will help you out, and maybe you'll try it out if you want to. Like again, I, I'd suggest it, but everyone's different. Some people don't only wear them. So now I'll talk about the helmet a bit. It's a Hackfoot 26608. Had it for about six years now. I've gone through four or five cages. The helmet itself is pretty good. It doesn't really have any chips besides right on the bottom piece right there. Something bad. I can't really you can see that. There is better pictures of that online. Uh, there's some paint cracks where the screws go and along where the cage connects. But besides that, it's pretty good. The fit and finish isn't the best on these, but they're cheaper value helmet, so I don't expect much. Uh, the foams have fallen out multiple times, so I've had to re-glue them in. But again, cheaper helmets and foams do that. They harden. You have to fix them, replace them. That's just normal work. Uh, just of keeping up your mask. The one thing that was kind of annoying is I go through cages pretty good. This one's bent in multiple places, as you can see. Um, I had some very difficult times getting in contact for replacement cages of this a while back, and it took much longer than I would have liked. I don't know how they're how Hackva is for dealing with replacement cages anymore because I haven't tried within eight months or so, but. It was a pain back then, and I'm hoping they got that trained out. For the mask itself, protection has been really good. I've got dinged everywhere. You feel shots in every helmet. Like You know when you get hit. This hasn't caused any issues for me. Never felt the ringing. I've never felt lightheaded or dizzy. Like you feel the impact, but that's about it. The cage, getting hit on the cage is usually the worst because it takes an impact instead of deflecting. And I've had my fair share of dents in there. Uh, I like the single bar cat eye. Just, I like the single bar in there. I find it doesn't bend as easily as the double bar. Um, but besides that, I would recommend this helmet to people looking on a budget. My next mask will be a Protec Sport. But this one has held up very well so far and I would absolutely recommend it to beginners. Especially over the lower end Bauer ones. Or Reebok or CCM. The plastic models. This one's carbon fiber. I think fiberglass, I'm not positive. But it's done a great job and it's held up for me. So I'd absolutely recommend it. Check out the review for more details. It is a really heavy, heavy helmet. Um, so it's 
if that's something you're looking for, super lightweight, this isn't the way to go. But again, it's one of the cheaper models. So that's why there's the weight and the lack of fit and finish. But yeah, I would absolutely recommend this. And they have a new one out, the Halo, I haven't seen it. But go check it out. And hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for watching.